This is my 2011 Audi S4 V8, 3 liter V6 supercharged engine. This car is a absolute monster and a marvelous working machinery. So I bought this car July 2023 on auction for about $4,000. And since I bought the car, I had a handful of uh, issues to sort out with the car to actually get it on the road and actually function it properly. So it took about five months. I had a bunch of things to work on, transmissions, I had tires, a lot of different things needed to be done to this car. And it was very, very expensive. And although the car is mostly functional, there's still a lot of things that need to be done to it. So the question is, what is left to do on the Audi S4? All right, starting off at number one, we have the paint job, which is the most obvious thing about the car. So on camera, it looks almost spotless in some aspects, but as soon as you get a little bit closer, you see scratches, dents, holes, anything on this car you, you can name. These are very deep scratches, by the way. You can feel everything. It's a very rough, rough car right now. The whole paint job around the car entirely is very, very rough. Got scratches on the bumpers everything it's abs it's an absolute mess i also need to repaint the interior you can see that the horn the chrome on the horn is actually fading off as well the s4 badge is fading and just a few other spots on the interior needs to be touched up as well all right going into number three there are rust spots all around the car all right the most obvious spot is right here on the door we have the paint peel right here there's a bunch of rust in this area this car is also from up north so a lot of salt on the road so we got rust on the door frame right here on the door itself we got rust on the roof of the car we got rust at the rear bumper and just a bunch of small rust spots all around the car all right number three will be the check engine light on my dash right now which is for the catalytic converters or catalytic system for both of them actually one and one and two so i pretty much have to replace both catalytic converters all right number four is the front and rear bumpers so at a quick glance you can tell we have some pieces missing like the the right fog light lamp and also the uh front spoiler then of course you have the scratched bumper paint is peeling off everywhere but besides those things it's actually a little bit more of a major issue the bumper itself is actually ripped off entirely so on this part right here is nothing that's supporting the bumper uh what I did here was I added some support mounts to hold everything up and they look they look okay they do their job but I definitely would prefer to have a whole bumper functional bumper then taking it around back to the rear bumper you see just a few deep deep scratches on the bumper and then of course the rear diffusers actually something is a for I think a fork loop actually hit this part right here and the whole back side by accident kind of bending this out so that whole thing is just scratched up and dented this whole thing needs to be replaced all right, so number five, we're gonna take a look at the engine bay. So the main issue here is actually the hood. So the hood strut is non-functional. So I have to put a baseball bat to hold everything up. I wanna work on any of the engine components. And since we're in the engine bay, let's go ahead and talk about number six on the list, which is the vacuum pump, which I believe is right here. This is actually leaking oil in a few spots. So I have to get the, the gasket replaced on that one. But besides that, the engine is, uh, it's pretty solid for the most part. So number seven, the headliner is actually collapsing in the back and in the front. So if I push my hand right here in the back, you can kind of see that's actually hanging down. So I'll get some more glue for that and probably replace the whole thing, if anything. Then you have a few areas like this where it's just kind of hanging down on the sides, but nothing too crazy. And as soon as you sit inside the car, you can probably spot number eight on the list, which is the windshield, which is completely cracked all the way across the window so it takes a nice little travel across the whole thing now this is fine for now you can see out of it pretty good but this will have to be replaced eventually all right going into number nine the mmi on this car actually is non-operative so when you put the key in turn the car on as you see nothing lights up over here actually the panels on the gear shifter don't even light up these are fine, but the actual MMI controller, which is right here, does absolutely nothing. All right, so hopping out the car for number 10, we have the rear brake pads and rotors. These need to be replaced completely. They're just pretty much old at this point. They need to be updated. And this is pretty noticeable when we actually slow the car down. 
because you have to depress the pedal uh, pretty hard to actually stop this car. And this is about 4,000 pounds, so it, it's a lot to stop. All right, going into number 11, the starter on this car is actually on its way out the door as well. So the cats, the starter, uh, the brake orders, these are all on their way out the door pretty much. So I actually put a used starter in this car because I couldn't get one on shorthand notice when I actually got the car from auction. I just need to get it running, so I bought a used one. And the used one does its job, but on on cold starts, you can definitely hear it grinding as it starts up. So definitely needs to be replaced pretty soon.